Good morning, guys. Uh, it's Dress. Uh, let's see, we're near the end of week two now, so almost a quarter of the way through the course. This moves really, really fast. Um, there's a few things that have been coming up somewhat consistently, so I thought I'd talk about those briefly. Uh, first and foremost, will come as no surprise, is my math lab. Uh, it's got some pros and it's got some cons. Probably has more cons than pros, uh, but first of all, the pros are that um, you get instant feedback. You can access it from anywhere. Um, it really allows us to, to run a math class online. Um, that's the big thing it's got going for it. Uh, the big con, I guess we could sum up all the cons in one, uh, it's computer, right? Computer software tends to be glitchy. Um, it has no way to interpret what you really meant, even if you type in something incorrectly, right? And so if you type in something incorrectly, uh, the computer just reads it as is, and oftentimes will mark it wrong, even though you knew what you were doing. Um, and I know that's frustrating, but doing math online, I mean, math does not lend itself well to the QWERTY keyboard, and uh, that's, yeah, that, that's just how it is. Uh, so, how do we deal with that? Um, my grading scheme uh, is set up such that 60% of your grade comes from the written exams, paper and pencil, where I can actually see what you're writing and I can kind of follow along your thought process. Uh, and then 10% of the grade comes from these uh, YouTube videos where I can see what you're writing, I can hear what you're saying. Um, between the exams and the videos, it's very, very obvious to me what you know and what you don't know. Um, and hence, that's the vast majority of your grade. Uh, with the, uh, the quizzes, you get three chances to take the quizzes. Uh, that's pretty generous. Uh, and then the homework, you can keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Uh, and so hopefully those, uh, the little typos and the My Math Lab glitches um, will kind of get washed away. Um, and you'll you'll wind up. I, I try very very hard to give you guys the grades you deserved and the grades you've earned. Uh, so a little bit about the quizzes. Um, you know, like I said, there there's no way I can know you know whether or not you've got your roommate, the nuclear physicist, is sitting next to you at the computer, or for that matter, taking the quiz for you. Right. So you could very easily cheat on the quizzes. There's nothing I can do to stop that. I'm going to encourage you, however, to not cheat. At least on the first attempt that you take the quiz, try to do it just yourself, just with paper and pen, and actually work through it. Uh, I totally understand if you take it a second time and you've got your book open, you take it a second time, you've got your notes open, you take it a second time, and you do have your roommate, the nuclear physicist, sitting next to you. There is nothing I can do to stop that, and quite frankly, I don't care. Uh, because on the exam, it will reflect very, very closely. Your exam scores will reflect very, very closely uh, how you do on the quizzes in the time allowed with only your pen and paper available. Uh, so that's so don't cheat. At least on the first time you take the quiz, don't cheat because it gives you a good idea of how you're actually doing in this class. Uh, another thing that comes up a lot is uh, office hours and getting personal help. Um, I typically do most of my work for this class between 5 and 7 a.m. Uh, that way I can answer the day's emails from the previous day. I can live up to my 24-hour uh, you know, email policy. Um, sometimes you'll send me an email or get a couple similar emails, so I'll send an announcement or an email to the whole group you know, to answer your email. right? So I hope you don't think I'm ignoring you, but if I get the same email from a couple different people, I'm like, okay, yeah, let's fix this. For instance, this East Coast, West Coast time. Another My Math Lab glitchy thing. Uh, I screwed it up. I'm sorry. Uh, and I, I tried to um, you know, fix it for everybody. Anybody that had trouble with that, at least the people that asked politely and said, hey, this is an issue. No problem. We can fix it. Uh, but, um, you know, office hours are hard. I don't hold you know, regular office hours because you guys have so many different schedules. Uh, it's it's really a waste of my time. Um, and that's why in the syllabus, which I hopefully you've read, um, you know, it says by appointment. And so what we can do is have, you know, let me know uh, when you're available and we can do a little Skype session or a Google chat session. Uh, we can share screens with each other and do that kind of stuff. But that's pretty limited, um, again, because math doesn't lend itself well to typing in online 
environment. Uh, however, uh, we can have, um, before the exam, we'll have a, uh, a review session, probably the, the Tuesday before the exam, uh, which is in two weeks. Two weeks from today or tomorrow will be the first exam. And uh, we'll have a review session that the Tuesday of that week, so a couple days before Thursday, the first day you can take the exam. Um, we'll schedule a review session where we can all log into a Google chat using your YouTube account uh, or your Google account. You can log in, and uh, it'll be as close to uh, an old-fashioned review session as we can we can do, where we can all hear each other. You can ask questions. It looks like I'm writing on a board right in front of the class. Um, so we'll do that. So plan for that Tuesday before the exam. It's optional. You don't have to do it, but it's optional. Uh, and finally, the exam. Um, what we did as a faculty, we took all the people that are teaching over the summer and we said, um, all right, let's, let's give our students some flexibility as to when they take the exam. And you can take that any time on Thursday. Let's see, how does it work? Thursday from like 1 till 7 p.m. or Friday from 8 till 4, right? So you've got a lot of options as to when you take the exam. You'll get two hours, 120 minutes. Um, we're giving you a lot of flexibility. But if you say, I'm going to take it from 10 to noon on Friday, and you don't show up to 11.15, well, it's just like showing up 45 minutes late or an hour and 15 minutes late to an exam. Your time. If you pick 10 to noon, your time is 10 to noon, and you will be done with the exam at noon. Um, if your bus is late, then you are done at noon. If you overslept, you're done at noon. If you uh, your car broke down, you're done at noon, right? That's how it goes. You pick your time, but then you really have to make, you take responsibility for getting there on time, right? But you get to pick that time, so hopefully that works out for everybody. Uh, I think that's a good thing. Uh, so that's it. Um, my math lab, it's glitchy. Be patient. It's the best that's available. Uh, grading scheme, I'm going to reward you guys for what you learn and what you know. It'll be very obvious via the exams and the videos what you know. Um, don't cheat in the quizzes. Uh, it's a good indicator for how you're going to do on the exam. And uh, the exam will be in two weeks from today or tomorrow. Uh, let me know when you plan to take that exam. Okay, that's it. Uh, I hope all is well. Uh, overall, everybody's doing a great job. Uh, the, the people that remain in, in the class are doing the work, and they're doing a good job. I'm impressed. We'll talk to you soon.